This immortal is one of Batman's most enduring adversaries. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Ra's al Ghul. Well, are you man enough to face your better? As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1971's Batman number 232, and which was expanded upon in 1992's Batman Birth of the Demon. Ra's al Ghul was born nearly 700 years ago. He grew up in a tribe of Chinese nomads wandering the Arabian desert. Fascinated with science, he decided to leave his tribe at a young age to live in a city and become a physician. There he married the love of his life. Soon after, Ra's discovered a natural pool of chemicals that could restore life and heal injury. Calling it the Lazarus Pit, he used it to save the life of a dying prince. Unfortunately, the life-giving pool had the side effect of causing the royal to go mad and kill Ra's wife. The Sultan blamed Raz for the murder, as he couldn't admit that his own son had committed the crime. In turn, Raz was taken to the desert and left to die in a cage with his wife's corpse. Rescued by the grandson of one of his patients, the duo soon sought out Raz's nomadic tribe. Together, they overthrew the Sultan and his kingdom. This was done through Raz's advanced understanding of germs and disease. He used this knowledge to infect the prince and in turn was asked for a cure. Instead, Raz slaughtered the royal family and the entire city. From then on, he became known as Raz al Ghul. Arabic for the demon's head. Using the Lazarus pit to extend his own life, he experienced an immediate burst of madness. While it turned out to be a short-term effect, he would never again be fully sane. He then traveled around the globe for several centuries and fought in countless wars. Eventually becoming an incredible warrior and master martial artist, Raz soon started despising those who would destroy the world's natural beauty. In response, he used his accumulated wealth to become the head of an international eco-terrorist organization called The Demon, as well as leading the League of Assassins. With countless ninjas at his command, he set forth to eliminate all evil around him. This eventually became a full-fledged mission to eradicate all of humanity in a bid to wipe the slate clean and start over. This agenda eventually spurred numerous clashes with Batman, who has constantly defied his plans. Early in their encounters, Raz's daughter Talia al Ghul fell in love with Batman. This prompted the immortal to consider Batman as a potential heir and discovered his true identity. Just how did you learn who I am? I control a vast global organization, detective. Due to Batman's insistence on defending a corrupt world and preventing genocide, Raz has since made Batman his mortal enemy. One of the Cape Crusader's many iconic foes, Raz al Ghul has appeared in various media over the years. Among these, he is best known for his portrayal by Liam Neeson and his decoy, played by Ken Watanabe, in 2005's blockbuster, Batman Begins. Gotham must be destroyed. 